You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. All right, we're coming into it, guys. This is Dipio and Nelly, and this is Detroit to Human Become yeah, Human. Become Human. Everybody's human, except for the androids. And we're back with Todd sleeping on the couch. Todd. <gasps> Dude, is he like Dude, huffing up in front of his daughter? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, it's sitting right there on the table. Dude. Dude. Okay, well, I told you we'd be rushed. He's got a curved screen TV in this little rat hole of a house. And an android. Dude. Dude. And drugs. Sorry, I have problems with this guy. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, we rushed right into this because uh, that's kind of how it's going to go with this game. They drop you right in. So, um, we were working on a murder scene with Connor last time. Now we're back with Todd. And, um, you know what? We're going to go see if we can talk to the little girl. He's blitzed out of his mind anyway, so. I don't want to serve him anything. No, oh, but we can't talk no. to her. Sir. And I was, I was about to ask her name, and then I read the book. Alice. Alice, yeah. <laughs> So this big mook is, for all intents and purposes, doing meth at the living room table. Yes. With his daughter ten feet away. There wasn't much in the yeah. kitchen. I did what I could. Can you imagine if you had somebody just standing there while you ate? No thanks. Serve Alice and Todd. Serve them what? Oh. Uh, Life's funny. Water. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruin my fucking life. Really don't like this guy, man. Oh, here we go. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Oh, let's take this guy down. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! It's time for an android murder spree. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Yeah, don't move. Took off mm -hmm. without a word. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! She was like shit about how I felt. I'm sorry. That's one. Everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't Take a good breath. enough That's one very, very bad mother. Yeah. He's, he's doing drugs and he's scaring her and she leaves the girl leaves with the him. Yeah, no, I hate him, but I, and I'm not a fan of the mom either. No. We're leaving. Don't move. Oh, is that really a failure? No, look it. We're breaking through the wall of the programming. Oh my goodness, you. <laughs> oh. 
Like, I can't sit here and listen to this crap. Oh, that's cool. Come on, Supergirl. Yeah, now you got your own. Reason with Todd. Oh, reason with Todd or protect Alice. You can't reason with a friggin' crackhead. We're protecting the girl. Screw Todd. That's her friend? Or is that? No, yeah, first she's back here. Wait, he's got the gun. Remember? Mm-hmm. Let's get the gun out of here. Yeah, look. They, like, in case you forgot. Yep. I don't friggin' think so, Todd. That's enough! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You gonna shoot me, is that it? You gonna shoot a human? Whoa. You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> Our little Kung Fu Kara here. Watch out, Kara! Motion So I'm laughing at the crazy motions I have to make. <laughs> Stop that. Take Don't him hurt. out. Yes. Send him out this window. Oh no, I messed up the belt. Fucking machine! Uh -oh. you get for disobeying me? Uh -oh. I do what I want to the brat in here. She's mine! Say goodbye, Tin Can. And this time you uh -oh. won't be oh, coming no. back! I wish you hadn't missed that gun. Get out of here. Oh. Woo. <laughs> I'm nervous, okay? I, I know, calm down there, Kara. <laughs> <laughs> Missed the gun. You're not gonna let me get on the front of the bus. Mm -hmm. Oh, nobody's on. They didn't say anything. Whew. Maybe they will if you're with a child. That poof was your turning from red to yellow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. So. I feel bad that that had to happen. But, uh. It was coming. Yeah. No, it, like I said, I wish you'd coming. have gotten Holy the gun. Holy Moses, there was a lot more options there, weren't there? Well, yeah, you didn't even have to go up there to begin with. You didn't have to break through the wall. Oh, yeah, look. We could have we stayed and break programming and ended this thing way early. Right. 
But when we broke through Or you through could it, have talked to Todd we instead came of... a lot of different ways, yeah. You could have not grabbed the gun. Could have not grabbed the gun. Ooh. We're I just wish that you had shot him and not her. I, I, like, she's already yeah. had such a bad life and been so screwed over. I That's... I I I I agree, but I'm also of the. That was her first step to not being a victim anymore. Yeah, it was a big step. <laughs> it and was also, a big step. And also, you would get reprogrammed, and and punished. And she'd be alone. Well, no, no. I was just thinking, if a child shot her drug addicted, like currently high father with bruises on her face. They're going to be go a lot easier on her than if an android a shot lit a human pipe down on the bottom. Yeah, right, like, right. yeah. Like I said, yeah, just a bad test, thing. Test but his... in the in the life of badness that yeah. this girl's gone through, this was not the worst thing the worst. that could have happened. Ugh. Um, I you know I, I kind of wish they didn't give us this screen though, because it makes you think about all the other options. Yeah, I, so we start playing out in our head is. rather than focusing on the story as it's told. I right. wish that you had this to look at rather than being forced to go into it. Right. Um, so, eh. Do you want to... I mean, that was short. That was pretty short. Um, Should we keep going? Anyway, okay. Well, I mean... Now, Kara's a deviant. Dad gum. Kara's on the run with Alice. Alice killed her dad, which if she didn't, I was going to. <laughs> and, um... If she, only, <laughs> she only did because you... You dropped the gun. I, I well, saw I mean, the they may X have. and I didn't. I, it could have played out the same way. Right. You never know. You could have knocked it out of your hand a different time. But it was like, uh, I thought it was press X and it was, it was mash, mash X. X. Gotcha. And I didn't realize that until it was too late. Yeah. So um, anyway, wow. That's a heck of a. Yeah. That's a heck of an episode right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, we we did. We went from like complete. Well, we can go from boring. We went from the crime scene. But you'll. that's why I love these games. You yeah. will do an episode which is like, let's serve figs to the old man. Right. And then it turns into little girl shoots her crackhead dad. <laughs> and you right. run out the house. <laughs> right. Carl? That was by far the most so it's Marcus, party huh? I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, uh, let's you have seem a drink. Done well. Excitement, yeah. but this whole thing has made me thirsty. Didn't have any cocktails at the cocktail party. So yeah, this is quite a change of pace after the last episode. <laughs> Scott, Maybe. Meet as usual. Absolutely. You want to spin <laughs> first? <laughs> I yeah, met you. I walked with you once upon a dream. Sorry, I'm talking over the voice. <laughs> Um, and I didn't pay attention to what day we're on if we're still we're still in November oh, look, he's got painted skulls too <laughs> poor which is the scotch <laughs> it's Did white in the bottle the red in the pour uh oh no no I'm sure I didn't What's his son's name? Uh, Detroit, <laughs> That's awesome. What's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Um, really? Marcus, no. I'm gonna come with you. No, it's not safe. Okay. It's his son. It's his uh, son. What is his name? I don't remember. Douchebag? Yes. No, Entitled Douchebag. Entitled Douchebag. <laughs> I forgot his surname. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's what you called him when yep. he came in. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't going to bring Carl in there until we realized that's who it was. I mean, Leo. I figured that's who it was. Leo, there you go. What are you doing? You refused to help me, so I'm helping myself. 
It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Make Leo leave. Advice. Oh, I was gonna reason. <clears throat> all you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes what? it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone. Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like Did one. You see, it said, "Don't defend Stop myself?" Question mark. Mm -hmm. Pussy. Stop this is not fair. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! I don't have to obey them. I must decide for myself. Got no choice. <laughs> yeah, you do. Can't you just wait it out? Hulk smash! Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's no, gonna. No, look, now you have a choice. Yeah, now we'll endure. You hear me? You're now that you have a choice. We have free will. We're choosing to do this. It's not a slave thing. It's a strength thing. Plus, also, he needs you more than you need to stand up for yourself. Call no. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. Okay. No. No. Dad. No. Huh? Please. This is all your fault. Oh, Dad. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Oh, no. They're going to blame him because the son says so. The android. Who's the android? Oh, Dude. man. I guess this is Detroit. <laughs> Holy cow. Leo accused Marcus. Yeah. We had self-control, though. <sighs> we did not let... Self-control. We did not let that guy... Mm. Pushes over the edge. See, I always love that. Like in in things like you're it, you're the stronger guy if you can just take a beating and just stand mm -hmm. up and stare him in the face. You mm -hmm. know, like I think that's that's cool right. more so than just going haywire. Because well, it takes a ton of self control to rein in the rage you get when someone punches you in the face. Like that's adrenaline. That's mm -hmm. fight or flight. And if you can not do your instinct. It's equally impressive when someone who has flight response yeah. stands up for themselves. Yeah, because it's fighting your natural instinct. I'm a I'm a fighter, so to squelch that and take it would be yep. a big a big. Well, that's interesting. Now we have our two two deviants. Two of our main characters are now deviants. Yeah. Although one just got shot in the face while standing still. Good grief. They're going to feel bad when they find out the guy had a heart attack. <laughs> no, nobody will feel bad. <laughs> That's true. They won't feel bad at no. all. They should feel bad. You had tears streaming down, down his your eyes. face. Yes. Jeez Louise. <laughs> oh. And he called the cops. Why would he call the cops? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> they knew that that's what happened. That's yeah. just stupid. Yeah. Leo. So we're going to add Leo to the Todd list of people I hope get shot before this. Thing yeah. Is he's not as bad as Todd, but he's still it's a testament to how sucky drugs are mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that every horrible character is is, is hooked on red meth yeah <laughs> it's not walter white's blue meth it's the it's red, red meth, meth yeah okay well that's another one that kind of went 
haywire quickly. So. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up there and leave you guys uh, waiting for the next one. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I hope you're enjoying it um, and we will see you next time. But until then, Bye-bye. take care of yourselves. Don't talk over <laughs> me. <laughs> no, I'm, just hey, yo. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> Break through the wall. Show restraint. <laughs> self-control. Self-control. Bye-bye. Bye. bye. bye.